Hey guys, Keith again with Bulletproof RC. And this is my ProLine Pro 2. Now this is a build I've been working on behind the scenes. Uh, I've been traveling a lot for work. Not a lot of time for videos lately. But um, uh, I'm always working, <laughs> playing and working on RCs uh, in the background no matter what's going on. And um, a while back I picked up a ProLine Pro 2 uh, short course uh, truck used. Um, and... Um, I don't know, just went a different direction with it than anything else I've seen out there. Thought I'd share it with you. Um, I guess the first thing you'll notice is the bug body. And this is the bug body that is for the Axial Yeti. And um, there is actually an Axial Yeti cage under that body. Had to do a little bit of modification to make this work. Uh, but uh, in the end, I think the... Uh, end product speaks for itself got a cage and drivers inside um in a second i'll pull the body and show you uh, how those modifications were made um also it's worth mentioning that uh, this is the pro 2 mt front bumper on the front end uh, and then also the pro 2 mt bumper in the rear and the reason for that is the short course bumpers were a little too long for our, the overall look of this. Uh, I did go with 2.2 uh, wheels and um, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I got a pretty serious power system in this vehicle so I actually went with uh, wheel weights in the front end uh, since there's uh, no axles in the front of this vehicle. It's all freewheeling in the front end. Uh, rotational mass is not an issue and a uh, good way to keep the weight down the, or the weight up in the front end so that way uh, you don't do all the wheeling that you get out of uh, two-wheel drive vehicles uh, keeps the front end planted but yet it's not sprung weight which means you know coming off jumps and everything you don't have to worry about your front end bottoming out because you've got weights all up in the front end so uh, that worked out pretty good and uh, of course no weights in the rear end but uh, I've got a 550 uh, I got the name of that motor hobby star I've used this motor in several vehicles uh, but it's a 2500 kV motor I'm running 3s and I'll show you the ESC in a minute but I did upgrade the uh, spur gear to a Robinson racing 32 pitch so I was able to use 32 pitch uh, pinions as well um, that does require replacing the the shaft that the spur sits on to a stock Traxxas shaft because ProLine uses a little bit different proprietary uh, shaft and Robinson Racing doesn't make a spur to fit that. So I did have to open the transmission up in the Pro 2 transmission and change out that shaft uh, and the, uh, uh, the, the gear on the end of that shaft as well. I think it's the idler, no it's not the idler gear. I forgot what you call that gear. But anyway, you get the picture. I'm going to pause the video, pull the body, and show you a little bit of the goodies on the inside. Okay, with the body off, I can show you how I did this. Um, used a Traxxas Revo front, uh, tent, one tent scale Revo, front uh, body mount. And um, it's pretty neat. It actually bolts right down to the, to the top of the steering rack where the screws go into the steering rack on the front end. In the rear, I did uh, drill a hole in this little servo plate. I put a screw coming up with a nut on the end of it to secure it on that side. So it's very, very durable, stable, and uh, actually kind of came out pretty clean, actually. Uh, in the rear, uh, I couldn't tell you where these parts come from because uh, they were just some scraps laying around. So um, anyway, uh, just made some body posts in the rear uh, that would match up with the rear of the Yeti cage and they actually slide in there it works out pretty good so uh, hard, hard to recommend what to use back here you'll just have to get creative if you try to do this on your own uh, these are ProLine Pro 2 MT side guards um, the two wheel drive version of Pro MT and um, and of course uh, that's the ESC that I was mentioning a while ago. This is the Hobby Wing um, 120 amp SCT Pro. It is a censored ESC capable of up to 4S. 
Uh, I'm currently only running three S in this rig with this 2500 kV motor. And uh, it's got plenty of juice. It really does. It's got plenty of power. And uh, that is a radio box from a Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. Um, it's not for waterproofing or anything like that. I don't care about running my vehicles in water. That ESC is not waterproof. I don't have a waterproof servo in here. And uh, that's not what that's for. Uh, I don't like a bird nest of wires on my RC. So, you know, ProLine has this thing set up just to mount a receiver on the chassis. Uh, not crazy about that. Uh, it's hard to keep your wires under control that way. So anyway, I used some shock standoffs from a pit box and mounted the receiver box to the chassis down here just like that. Uh, drilled some holes on the inside of this uh, radio box on both sides and put nuts on there and worked out pretty good. And I can keep my wires under control. Um, that way I don't have a bird nest in there. <laughs> just pet peeve of mine, guys. Um, let's see, what else have we done to this thing? Uh, got the STRC aluminum upgrades on it, shock towers front and rear. Um, knuckles and hubs up there in the front or caster blocks, whatever you want to call them. Got the rear hubs back there. Uh, pro line comes to pro twos come out of the box with several upgrades already in them. So, uh, most of this stuff is already kind of hopped up anyway, but that is a aluminum STRC bulkhead up there as well. And of course, yeah, there's nothing really upgraded underneath. So, uh, yeah, not a lot else to talk about. Uh, other than that, I got a, this thing flipped around here. That is a Savox 1258 servo in there for decent torque and speed. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a lot of not a lot of ingenuity had to go into this to make it this way, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with uh, the outcome. If I can put this back on with one hand, but we'll try. Yeah, I'll pause the body's back on, and as you can see, the uh, side guards definitely help uh, keep dirt and debris and also your chassis from showing up down here because uh, you got to have this body look, sitting up off the chassis a little ways to clear with these um, 2.2 tires um, those are SLW 225 hubs on the inside of those wheels if you're interested in that and uh, yeah pretty happy with the overall outcome of the vehicle it runs like a dream it's really planted and um, um, it can it's very controllable uh, Comparable very much to uh, a four-wheel drive vehicle actually the way it gets traction and with the weighted front end and everything it runs good Very pleased with it Probably uh, Be putting in some LEDs on top later and of course you got the uh, The rack in the back that comes on the Yeti chassis or Yeti cage should I say Probably putting some LEDs in later on. That's a little Fox radiator um, set that you can get with the Yeti as well. But yeah, I guess I've rambled on enough. That'll do it for this video, guys. As always, like and subscribe to Shoe Fits, my friends. Have yourself a great day.